Hi guys, welcome back to shop. Today I'm going to get back on the Suzuki shift shaft repair that we're doing, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to press that thing together, and then we're going to tack it, and then we'll go ahead and do a full weld, and when we're done, we're going to put a pin in just behind that. It will be uh, uh, where the male goes into the female, and then the pin will go through both of them. And that's probably redundant, probably don't need to do it, but that's my plan. Might change, but at this point, that, that's my idea. So let's get on over and see if we can get this thing put back together. All right, we're gonna see if we can get this put back together. Oh, getting tight up there. I think I'm gonna have to finish it off in the press. Let me cool it off here. Now well, maybe I'll try another little bit more heat. Finish it and press. All right, let's see if we can get her to go home now. Okay, here we go. Should do it. Got this clamp down pretty good here just to keep it from warping on me. I'm gonna allow this to cool a little bit. And then I'm gonna turn it back, turn it over, and uh, tack the other side. Let's see if we can get it tack on the other side now.
that cool off and uh, we'll take it over to the lathe, make sure it's straight, and uh, go ahead and start trimming that back down. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Like uh, about three and a half thousandths, maybe four. I think we're good. I don't think you'd you'd have a lot of trouble getting it any closer than that. So we'll go ahead and trim down the the weld on it then. We get set up. Put our pin in now. I'm going just a little bit behind the. Uh, this was the female end, and this, of course, was the male. And right about here was the split. I centered up on the shaft, and we'll just start with a little pilot hole here. And then we'll go to our one eighth. My pin is actually a thousandths bigger. Than the drill. That should go right through the, the male portion and then both sides of the female there. So this is, I'm sure, redundant, doesn't need to happen, but I just, uh, just kind of feel like I want to do it. The weld was very successful. Okay, we're gonna just uh, make sure we've got it, the pin clean and uh, the hole. The last tone. Oops. 
hopefully that'll do it. And we'll just blow that out. Light that up. And I'm just going to set this on here and put a little Loctite. This is 609 press fit. Other side, we'll go a little beyond, and then I'm going to cut this off, and then we'll uh, we'll work these pieces off in the lathe too. got left over here. We'll just lightly rivet the end of it. And then we'll go take it to the lathe and finish it up. Degrees it. Scan the arm. Acetone before you weld. Not brake cleaner. Brake cleaner causes problems with welds. And we'll let that dry. Doesn't take very long. And then we'll line up our mark. Let's see, we got the punch mark right here. And we've got the punch mark right here. So this is going to go like this. in a rat hole. Tight fit. And now we'll take it over and weld here.
Okay, I think we're done. Got it re-welded here where the swags were before. Got our spring back on. And it's not perfect, but it'll it'll work. I've got a little weld void right there, but the rest of it's good. I kind of got into it a little too much here uh, when I was taking the rivet or the pin off. Uh, I don't know. Just isn't going to hurt anything. This is all in between your support area. I think it's uh, about like this. So this is just sliding through. I just wanted to put that pin in just for gee whiz, a little extra of security. It keeps, you know, if you've got, it helps with torsional uh, turning type uh, movement as well as pulling apart type movement. But I don't think it was really necessary. I just feel better doing it. So it's been kind of a fun project. And, uh, you know, everything, it's really a good tight fit on there and uh, I think that'll work for probably another 50 years. Okay guys there you have it. Repair of the Suzuki shift shaft. Say it slow so you don't say something you don't want to say and uh, I, I think uh, you know like I say it's not perfect but it will do the job and I don't think we'll have any more problems with it. And uh, it's, it's been a fun project. So hey, thanks for going along on the ride. And we'll see you next video.